Chinese are. That there should be some way. Like, I guess they're making it obvious who they are, but it's like, I know it's demonstrating, but they're fucking not. They're talking about killing. They want a fucking white state. Like, it's different than other demonstrations. It, it fucking Those is. Those demonstrations have been going on forever. There's never been, a, my entire life, there's been white nationalist demonstrations in the United States. Not like that. Dude. Yes, like that, dude. Yes. When? They, they fucking uh, the, this shit is, the American Nazi Party was active ten years ago. Yeah, but they, they had demonstrations. The KKK has demonstrations. No, These fucking things you can't deny happen that since Trump won. The shit since is, Trump won, there's this a different type up. of of those guys. Yeah, but to say right. that white nationalists haven't existed or they of don't exist, of course it's existed. Is not I was true. Disputing that, I mean, uh, like yeah. Timothy McVeigh, who's uh, pretty much attached to loosely, for but, sure. You know, I mean, to, to say that he's not a white nash or that there isn't some white nationalist aspect. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the Oklahoma City bombing. I mean, they, they, it was a, more of a problem 20 years ago than mm-hmm. it is now. Right. But you those demonstrations... Yeah. Those demonstrations well, in terms have of body existed. count, maybe, but it's still a fucking huge problem right now. No, I think there's more attention placed on it culturally because that's hot on the internet and because of the election and because of this alt-right thing and specifically. Because the president. And because, yeah, the people in the White House. I mean, fucking... Yes, but that's a different, the that's a different issue. You're talking about, like, these demonstrations and what's happening on a on a cultural level with just people Mm -hmm. and like ultimately the people who go to protest a statue being taken down in charlottesville are like you know other than the guy that drove his fucking car through a crowd of like counter protesters they're just fucking making noise you know yeah and And the important part if you want to get people i'll never like i'll never embrace the idea of we got to find this guy we got to get people fired because i don't like the idea of getting people fired as a method of punishment in in any way yeah regardless of what you do i don't like the idea of oh we need to (laughs) they're definitely gonna get fired and then gonna be like well you know what i'm not of course not but it's also like a shitty tactic to embrace is getting people fired the tactic is shitty but there is a marked difference between someone who says a joke you don't like and someone who's fucking, you know, you saying wanna, there should you be ethnic cleansing. You want the vice cleansing. principal at your kid's school to be a Nazi, like, at that rally? I don't have a kid. Well, you know, like, in theory. But, the, but what I'm, there's, there's a big difference between someone, like, a, a joke and fucking having a fucking swastika at a thing about a Confederate flag. Of course. I'm not saying there isn't a difference. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I'm saying, on principle, I don't right, right, right. You don't support like that the idea and, like, either you embrace that or you don't. And there's that, and that's what having principles is. That's that's what it well, is. Well, then principles are stupid because it's maybe they are. Then fine, but then don't but act no, no, like no, no, you're no, fucking. No, no, no. Hold no, on, because people do the same shit with like no, no, with no, with the death penalty. There's, oh, I don't support. I I would never support the death penalty unless it's fucking you know Hitler. Yeah, well, right. not even Hitler. Like you know, when I don't support uh, when, the death when, penalty. Uh, uh, no what's what. his name? The 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 char uh, the Charleston kid. Dylan, oh, Dylan, Roof. Dylan Roof. When Dylan Roof got the death penalty, people say, "Oh, normally I don't support the death penalty, but I do in this case." Well, that means you support the death penalty. But he's going to get. You're that, a fan of the death penalty. He's going to get that. You want the death penalty to happen. <laughs> if there's certain, if yeah, there's certain situations where you support the death penalty, then you support the death penalty. Don't pretend like you don't. I understand. If you, but if you, you don't if have you to want to say so- there's, there's a certain point it crosses in well, which I support people being fired for expressing something. Then you support people being fired for expressing something. Yeah. For expressing, and don't shy away from it, but just like, just admit that that's what. Yeah, you, when it could lead to violence, the same way the freedom of speech thing, where, where freedom of speech ends. You know, I being a fucking Nazi is the same as yelling fire in a crowded room. No, it's not. I don't agree with that. I, I think it is, man, because you're talking about your your ideology is saying directly, I want these people gone. Now, fucking Richard Spencer or whatever saying, oh, I don't hate anybody or whatever. They're saying, I don't want to murder them personally. All right, so what the black would say we need to kill all white people. You would have no problem with the police coming and fucking... No, that's just cool, dude. Yeah, yeah I know. Cool. I don't have a problem with it, but I'm saying, like, They've why would you set a precedent outfits? of making okay. certain types of speech yes. illegal... Yeah. Don't don't do it. It's you don't the, do it because that's a good point. No, you're it's right. eventually the guys you do like are going to say the same fucking thing. You're right. That's and a good point. No, absolutely. I think you're right about that. It's just that. an emotional fuck. I don't know, man. It's fucked up. The fucking president is like, he's Trump obviously pre- it's, it's fucking just, emotional. Right. Just, but that's why yeah. justice and laws should be sort of removed. Emotional. You're right. Emotional. You're right. Processes. You're right about. No, that was. Like, I I agree with what you said. Yeah. It's just, it's fucking weird, dude. Like, so Trump you are is in fucking theory, president. Are you in theory you're against hate crimes legislation? Because you're like, murder is murder, right? Well, the uh, hate crime hate crime laws are sort of, they're, they're correcting 
a, a flaw in the system that's expressed through systemic mm-hmm. if you're a black guy and you murder a white guy you're going to get the maximum penalty mm-hmm. if you're a white guy and you're you murder if you're a white woman that murders a black guy you're probably not even going to go to jail mm-hmm. unless are you had, hot? unless that yeah if it's a hot white woman oh, that dude, murders right. a black guy you're not you get a reality not, tv show so, right exactly yeah, like, come on she's yeah. I mean, if you, you know i mean if you didn't have hate crime laws then yeah. there wouldn't be equal sentencing i mean okay. I, I kind of i mean i mean i don't know man it's I, I i i don't I don't even really believe that, like, justice exists. No, it doesn't. <laughs> right, so, right. I mean, to say, like, oh, well, if we if we kill this person, then we'll all feel better. I mean, we certainly won't right, as a that's... society. It might, like, uh, 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 alleviate some of the, the pain or help in the grief process for the immediate family of whatever victim, you know, it, it, if it's a murder or whatever. But it's not benefiting society. Yeah, yeah I mean, I'm, really. I don't... It yeah. has no, no impact on crime rates. Right. You know? Also, you could just make their life horrible. Like if well, you they get that five dollar foot long. That's torturing people. But I, I just mean like you you're in prison for life. It's shitty. You know what I mean? Like it's not, it's not a good outcome. Yep, and you're getting that five dollar. <laughs> you're getting that five. Yeah, it's, that's true about the foot long. <laughs> yeah, I mean if you're like thinking about like efficacy of like any kind of punishment or whatever, like really penal colonies work better than anything send them to australia yeah let them live don't you don't torture anybody you just say okay well you can't be a member of our society so you can go live here here's there's some kind of infrastructure or whatever you know where do we send them uh, jersey there you go <laughs> oh, nice. dude i think the larger point and uh i'm sure a lot of our fans are gonna love this is that the is that was being has been used. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> fuck, I forgot. Anyway, sorry. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck it. I'm done. I don't. No, wanna, I mean, I don't want to get look. Sincere. You have to do things like that because sometimes the show is not going to be funny. Right. Specifically, when we bring up the Charleston thing, right? Right. Because right, we right. have to talk about it. This is a political show. We are the. We don't is, to, to say that you're not say political. Socialism. To say that uh, you're not political right now is is to is privilege. That's privilege. It's mm-hmm. true. You're privileged to say that you know you're if you're not posting. If you're not retweeting uh, uh, woke accounts constantly mm-hmm. and you're not politically active like I am by saying things on social media to get a bunch of likes, <laughs> like being a political <laughs> activist the way I am, that's privilege. Mm-hmm. It's actually it's privilege to not be a, a, a brand building, self aggrandizing, mm-hmm. you know. I'm socialist. Uh, hero. Stav yeah. is socialist and Nick is chaos actor, Joker, Heath Ledger. So that's where we're coming from. I consider myself to be more of like the Romulan school of thought. <laughs> <laughs> Is Rom he's the one who fucked up Remus? <laughs> no, Romulans. Well, That's yes, Romulus, yeah, Rom- Romulus, and R- Remus from Rome. From Rome, the right? Rome origin story. Oh, oh they I were Siamese the... twins that fucked each other. Wait, the they came the womb. all of Italy. Yep. <laughs> yeah. oh. that, an entire landmass is just. That's right. The and actually, of Romulus the come out of Remus's ass made Sicily. Yeah, and that's, that's why, why Sicilians dark. are dark and yeah. gay. <laughs> You know, you're part ass ass eggplant. They're punished. <laughs> yeah, yeah. With, he put an eggplant in his with ass. Dark olive skin. I love yeah. this guy. Can you believe him? I'm part eggplant. <laughs> uh, um, that's good. Yeah, we that's gotta take good. a break. We'll be back. Okay. Okay. Well, folks, you know what time it is. It's the underwear segment of the show. Nick Mullen here for Mac Weldon Underwear, the greatest underwear I've ever worn, and certainly the only underwear you'll probably ever wear. You. You hoarded degenerates, the Come Town fans. Uh, Mack Weldon is a better pair of underwear than whatever you're wearing right now. They believe in smart design, premium fabrics, and simple shopping. Uh, I bought some stuff online. It was very easy, a seamless process. It was great. Uh, Mack Weldon is the most comfortable underwear, socks, shirts, undershirts, hoodies, and sweatpants that you'll ever wear. Uh, they have a line of silver underwear and shirts that are naturally antimicrobial which means you don't have to bathe anymore. They'll suck all the dirt out of your shitty body, and uh, and you won't smell, you know, to, to your family that doesn't speak to you, which is uh, probably the only people you're hanging out with if you're listening to this show. Um, Mac Walden wants you to be comfortable, so if you don't like your first pair, you can keep it, and they'll refund your money, no questions asked. So go ahead and get that, uh, that, uh, that first pair, and if you don't love it, you know, no loss. You're not risking anything. 
Not only does Mack Weldon's underwear socks and shirts look good, they perform well too. Uh, they're good for working out. You go to work. You go out on dates. You go to GameStop to mace the employees for changing the color of Sonic's arms. So go to MacWeldon.com and get 20% off using promo code CUMTOWN. And get yourself some new underwear. Thanks. So Nick's like talking to me, and I'm like, "Wait, did you piss your pants?" <laughs> and then, because in the front of his pants were just like covered in water, Hell and yeah. he's like, "No, I didn't piss my pants." Like, what the fuck? Is it? We had to like work backwards. Yeah, it was a giant piss stain on my crotch, and it's like I didn't spill anything. I checked the height of the sink. It's not like the the sink top mm-hmm. had been wet or something. Did your boyfriend that. piss on your dick? No, no. because it was because. I he was squatting. The, like I was taking drywall <laughs> screws out of the bottom of those like metal studs and I was squatting and my stomach was hanging onto my crotch. <laughs> you fat fuck. Fat <laughs> dick. <laughs> All the sweat from my Your stomach. Your undergut? <laughs> Your undergut sweat? sweat on his Not dick. Even the under- the the middle of my stomach when I squat <laughs> oh was yes hanging on, on his because the thing is yeah. I have way more hip mobility than the both of you because I'm because you are weightless untrue I'm a gym guy yeah I can kick you higher than you you can't do anything my hips well, you actually a, you know what my hips you are a physical therapy from fucking rolling in tacos you made first of all bitch it's from a football injury because I am an athlete I'm trying to open ho it was from it's from getting a sack on Morgan State's field yeah, in 2007 in White Castle <laughs> oh, you take it back <laughs> I was dude. joking You've around this weekend far. about getting a Crave case but only using it for important business meetings <laughs> yeah. I told you about that guy that guy That's showing funny. up to court with yeah the with the four PS4 box. God, boxes <laughs> that rules <laughs> that is so yeah. awesome he was there to get the business <laughs> license for Andre's Steakhouse <laughs> 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 How you done solutions? Hi, I'm Andre Cousins, the CEO slash entrepreneur of Andre Steakhouse. Wait, what's the new name of Andre Steakhouse? You said it. You said it when we were on in the car. It was, it was so good. The new name? Yeah, yeah, the new yeah, name. yeah. It was just. Oh fuck! I yeah. forgot to. Oh, scenario. Scenario Steakhouse. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's intelligent good. Don in solutions. Intelligent Don in solutions <laughs> for the upscale casual. Participate. <laughs> yeah, participate. Andre Steakhouse might be my favorite. Bit. Yeah, it's, it's good, so dude. good. Day one blaze, yeah. dude. They Peak bring riff. like they have they have their own blooming onion, mm-hmm. but they cut the onion in a way that it looks like someone tenting their fingers. <laughs> 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 With like little calamaris as rings. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. yeah, hell yes. Damn, that would be good. You're God, this hungry. is honestly such a fleshed out idea. Yeah. Yeah. You've thought of everything, dude. We gotta we gotta do Andre Steakhouse. House. Yeah. Hi. I'm Andre Cousins. <laughs> Founder, CEO, and entrepreneur of Andre Steakhouse. <laughs> Bring in intelligent designer. Intelligent, <laughs> intelligently designed dinners. <laughs> intelligently designed ambrosia for your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> you know the desserts are called ambrosia at yeah, Andre yeah. Steakhouse. <laughs> Enticements. <laughs> Enticements. Yeah. Yeah. Situations. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get a steak situation. <laughs> uh, porterhouse Fuck. situation. Damn, I want a steak now, but I'm trying not to. I'm trying to be a good boy. I've relapsed hard, man. I I, I haven't been a paleo warrior. Although today was a good day. I drank a big fat. I went. I hit the gym. You know what I'm saying? Well, we hit the gym of of contracting. I hit the work. elliptical. I did some damn fucking lat pull downs because that's good for a uh, shoulder that's been injured in real sports. I got a couple people DMing me about my shoulder. Well, I have a torn labrum. If anybody knows what to do for that, I get well, DMs somebody, every you know, time you get like shoulders are complex. Mm-hmm. You got to DM every time I say. Well, every time you tell me something about working out, I get DMs. It's like Nick is not true. It's not true what he's telling. Oh you. shit! You Everybody hear that? Thinks they know what they're talking. About. Whenever like I, when yeah. I said that my back hurt from from doing squats, and you said no, that's just your muscles. Like uh, that's just the lactic acid, and you know your muscles like no, I said getting stronger. Get strain. The thing is, if you have like a disc injury, you no, know no, you it have wasn't. A yeah, disc injury. no, 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 no. no. So I didn't say. I didn't slip a disc. Wrong, then it's not. It's not your <laughs> spine. It's your, probably your rectus. Are fucking weak. Whatever. Or if you're squatting and you're not used to exercising, you're not used to exercising, you're not used to 